Things getting uglier between Ted Cruz and Donald Trump. Their Twitter feud first blowing up Tuesday night, with Trump blaming the Texas senator for an ad that a pro-Cruz super PAC ran in very conservative Utah. The ad, featuring a risque photo of Trump's wife Melania from a GQ spread back in 2000, Trump tweeting a threat to, quote, spill the beans on Cruz's wife Heidi. Trump then escalated the fight even further last night, retweeting this unflattering picture of Heidi Cruz side by side with Melania, Ted Cruz firing back, tweeting, quote, Donald, real men don't attack women. Your wife is lovely and Heidi is the love of my life. And Mrs. Cruz yesterday weighing in herself with this reaction to Trump. You probably know by now that most of the things that Donald Trump says have no basis in reality. So we are um, not worried in the least. We're focusing on our campaign, uh, and we are going to continue to do that. Let's ask a woman on our couch who <laughs> is the wife of uh, a candidate. Well, not right now, but usually yeah, they run every it's two years. Year, so Your you husband's say, a congressman. Yeah. Okay, so you are the wife of a candidate. Rachel, weigh in on this back and forth. I, you know, obviously kids for sure off limits, um, unless they are adults who are on the campaign trail um, and, and, and heavily involved. Mm -hmm. Obviously, I want spouses to be off limits, and uh, except I will admit my own hypocrisy when it comes to Bill Clinton. Uh, that said, I think that Bill Clinton brings up a good point, because I think what this is about, Andrea, is that Trump is always three or four steps ahead. I don't think this is about Ted Cruz. I think this is a signal to Republicans who I think have a lot of pent up anger about how Bill and Hillary have been treated with kid gloves by the media, um, even by their own uh, uh, Democrat um, uh, base, that he's going to he's going to play hardball and he's not going to uh, pussyfoot around around nothing's Bill, off, that nothing's, nothing's, off, nothing's off the table. This is what I think this is about. OK, Jesse, you've done a lot of um, in-depth research on these photos of Melania. <laughs> Really, really just, you know, scrutinizing them, um, weighing in whether they're inappropriate or not. You had your magnifying glass. What do you think of the back and forth? Should the wives be off limits? And does this help either candidate? Because I don't think it helps either one. When I first saw Melania half naked, I thought to myself, this is a pro-Trump ad. Yeah. I mean, I, I thought she looked great. I, I don't know why Trump wouldn't want to make this ad go national. He might actually be pretending to be offended because he just wants an excuse to remind the country how how hot his wife is. And maybe in Utah, people don't like it, but I think in the 49 other states, <laughs> I think they're going to want to see the ad. When you look at the, the side by side, I mean, I feel for, I feel for, for Mrs. Heidi. Cruz. Yeah, yeah. I feel for Heidi. I do too. Look, I mean, who wants to be put up next to a, a, a supermodel of sorts or certainly a, a, a very beautiful, gorgeous model? Also, I kind of agree with Jesse on this. This is no way bad for Donald Trump. He <laughs> married, I mean, this is him winning again at life in a way. You know, she's gorgeous. She's a model. This was also her job. And, and I'm not naive to the reality of politics and the fact that, to Rachel's point, we like to think the wives are off limit. We know deep down they become a part of this narrative. Mm -hmm. um, but I just don't think assaulting Melania for doing her job. She's a model by trade. Mm -hmm. I don't get that insult or that dig at all. So is the right tack then, Harris, responding with then an insult about your, I guess, arguable top opponent's wife and her looks? I mean, we, we've devolved you into a discussion of Cruz? which woman is hotter and we're comparing women's looks, which is, and ask any woman, it's a, it's a pretty ugly place. Yeah, Yeah, I, I think it gets uglier when you talk about size and weight and all that. I mean, I, I, we do have some ground to go. That was a picture that you can get on a Google search in the images. Right. Um, but it's, I learned from Jesse. <laughs> <laughs> but, but I would say this, a couple Harris. of things just about kind of the faux outrage over this picture. You know, Hillary Clinton took some early photos with Kim Kardashian. And I would say that her bast uh, is a lot more colorful than the pictures that you can find of any of these wives in a Google Images search. So just kind of put that in your brain, too, apples and apples. But in terms of how they respond to each other, has there been any ground that we have all been comfortable with among these men? <laughs> I mean, I just hearken back to the images of Marco Rubio a few weeks ago talking about the length yeah. of the app appendages. I can't even say it because it's so nasty. Yeah. But, but yeah, I mean, that's where we've been. So is that where we're going? I don't know that anybody thinks it's going to get nicer. No, we're not. No, it's for no, Bill and Hillary annoying. Clinton in a general, and this is get pettier and get pettier idea. and nasty. They should both get back to the issues. I don't know. I think yeah. we have bigger Well, that priorities. would be good. All right, free speech under siege at one major university. Students say that they're so upset after seeing Trump 2016 written in chalk around campus. 
they don't feel safe. <laughs> now they're being offered emergency counseling, and the university president is vowing to find the culprit. I wish I were making it up, folks, but I'm not. Never been much on religion, but I've shown up just